Elkara Ham Radio presents a Time Machine Tuesday vintage video release. Welcome to Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. You can find us at Elkara.net, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. And we're back for a short little snippet here before we do our final little uh, edit where we tune the antenna for 40 meters and uh, a couple of the other bands. You can see with the antenna now connected to the 7300, we're definitely picking up traffic today. And so it's working nicely. The audio sounds great. The noise levels are low with this antenna already. So looking forward to tuning this a little bit more when KY4 CKP uh, comes down. And uh, we'll add that to the end of our video here. So let's take another little break. We'll do a couple little tuning things on the outside, and then we'll come back to the radio and see how it sounds and looks on a few of the bands that we use most often. So be right back. Okay, we're back. So I've got KY4CKP Chris behind the camera for this. We've taken the antenna down, as you can see. Uh, and what we're going to do is we noticed on the uh, MFJ269 analyzer that we needed to make some adjustments on these spokes. These are called capacity hats, and we've got one for 40, 30, 20, and 15, the, the, just the two that are right here. Uh, what we also saw in the instructions is this final pole up here at the top to give it the additional length is also a part of the 40 uh, meter band. And we've lengthened this by about three inches because that seemed to be what the instructions indicated. We did not touch the capacity hat for 40. Uh, we may have to come back and check that. Then we went to the capacity hat for 30. We've shortened this by what we believe is the correct length just to, it was tuning low on the band, we needed to bring it up. So you actually shorten the spoke to do that and you only have to shorten one of the spokes. We did that for 20 as well. 30 I'm not using right now, it's just for a C-dub. Uh, but for a 20, we wanted to bring it in so that we could do SSB. Shorten that uh, a little bit, I think an inch and a half. Shorten 30 about a half an inch. And then we just touched 15. 15 was tuning just a little bit low in the band. Again, I don't use 15 right now, but while it's down, let's go ahead and tune it. So we took off about a quarter of an inch on this guy. We'll uh, uh, show you inside on the analyzer here in just a few minutes how that makes a difference. Right now, the antenna's down. We're going to go ahead and cut the shot for now, and we'll bring you right back when we're at the analyzer. But for now, we'll uh, put this back up on the uh, mast and see how it tunes. Alrighty, so now we have the antenna hooked up to the uh, antenna analyzer. This is the MFJ269CM. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go through four of the bands just to give you an idea of some of the tuning that we've done already. And uh, we'll see here in just a moment that 40 meters still needs some work. Um, but let's try six meters first. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and put it really close to uh, 50 megahertz. And you can see we're at about, in the top right corner, you can see 5.2 SWR, not the greatest. But our six meter repeater is at 53,270. So let's tune this a little bit. And let's go up to 53,270, and let's see where our SWR hits. Now, we're at a low point there, so you can see we're at about 1 1.3, 1 1.2, 1 1.3 at 52,7. And if I come up to 53,270, let me go down just a smidgen. Right there, pretty close, 1.6. So that's doable to uh, hit the uh, six meter repeater. So as far as tuning, I'm in a pretty good spot. Uh, could probably make it a little better, so that might come a little bit later. Now, let's switch to 10 meters. Now, 10 meters is going to be 28.3 megahertz to 29.7. So uh, we're in the uh, right area, pretty close to it, but we've got to go all the way down. So let's see how 10 meters is looking and you can see we're starting to drift right there so we're getting close remember 28.3 and right there 28.3 we're at about 1.5 might go a little lower let's see if it would go any lower it's pretty close to 1.5 so we're at uh, 28.3, we're at 1.5, very usable. And then as we come up, you can see it doesn't uh, travel quickly back up in the other direction. Now it is coming up. And so at about 29, 
uh, we get into about 2.0. Just a, a smidge, but you know, around two is pretty good. Uh, and of course, the tuner on uh, many radios will take care of that for you, so not too bad. Not that it's not total in resonance, but uh, not too bad. And then 29.7 is ultimately the top end of the band. I could probably work on this a little bit more just to make it a little bit more centered, but I don't, I'm usually not up this high on 10 meters. I'm usually uh, 29 or lower. So usually I'm going to be in a pretty good spot. So back down to usually where I'm going to be in the middle part of 28, between 28.3 and 29, we're at about 1516. So not bad. Now let's move to uh, 20 meters. 20 meters is going to be in the 14 megahertz range. Now on this MFJ, there's a knob right here so that I can change the frequency uh, range. And we're going to go between 11 and 28 so that we can get to 14. So let's uh, come up a little bit now and let's see where 20 meters is coming in. So we start at about 14,175. And you can see as I get close to 14,175, in fact, I am just rock solid at 1.1. Now as I move up to 350, you can see it is coming up a little bit, but very manageable. And we're pretty close to 350 there, just a tweak with my fingers, a little high, but that's close enough. So we went from about 1.1 to 1.9, so we're all below 2 uh, on uh, 20 meters, and so we're in great shape. So be using 20 meters quite a bit uh, during the daytime, for instance. And then the last band uh, that we wanted to show you is 40, but I've got to go into the lower range. So I'm going to use this knob over here on the right-hand side again, but you'll notice there's an option here for lower range. I'm going to click on that. Now, there are several lower ranges you can choose from. Right now, I'm on uh, between 4, 7, and 11. And, of course, 40 meters is going to be at 7,175 to 7,300. So let's come up to 7,175. And let's see where we are. And this one still needs work, but we ran out of time. You can see it's starting to come down. And there's 7175, but we're still at about 36, uh, a little higher than 7175, but pretty close. And then if I keep coming up to the 73, just trying to tweak it a little bit, uh, pretty close there. We're at 2.8. So you can see I'm not where I would like to be. Uh, but I'm getting getting closer, and you can see right now it will go down to about one five one four uh, at about seven three nine. So we need to lengthen it a little bit more with antennas. Uh, when you uh, tune and it hits low resonance below the band, you want to shorten uh, an element. Uh, on your antenna. When you're high above the band, you, you get your lowest SWR high above the band, you need to lengthen. So we need to do a little bit more lengthening on 40, but it's at the very top. We have to take it down, and we ran out of time yesterday. KY4CKP was helping me with this, and it's uh, very hot and humid in Kentucky doing this. So 40, a little bit of work, but I wanted to show you on the MFJ uh, 269 here uh, how this is uh, works and we'll actually bring this unit back out the 60 to 269 show you not only more uh, uh, working with it to find out your SWR but you can also check cable and other kinds of uh, features with this particular unit doesn't have a fancy graft or anything. There's some really nice units out there that do graphing and show you the dip and everything but you can see it with the meters and it's kind of old school and that's why I ended up going this way so let's move on to the next segment and we'll actually show you working with the radio on some of these different bands. All right, so we're back for the final segment. We've got the antenna and the cable connected now to the 7300. We've done some tuning. We did three iterations of tuning. We, did, uh, we showed you part of that. Now let's see if we can reach out to somebody. You may not be able to reach this person. This is Northern Ireland on 20 meters. Before we reach out to that person, we're going to actually show you where the SWR is on the 7300. So uh, I'll have the KY4CKP come in a little bit closer. So as you can see, it is tuned pretty nicely for where I'm receiving right now. And so what we'll do is we'll turn it up and let's see if we can uh, talk to Northern Ireland. Hi, 
Aikido won at Delta Alpha Bravo. Back to the line at 7 here, Northern Ireland. That's me, right? Yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah, that's so we had a couple of calls come in and he's handling those right now. And it will probably be difficult to actually reach Northern Ireland with this particular antenna, but we'll give it a shot. Delta Papa. KY4, Bravo, Delta, Papa. He's barely coming in and he's not showing up on the waterfall very well. So again, not likely that we'll be able to reach him. Let me move over to one or the other ones. Kilo Yankee 4, Bravo Delta Papa. Okay, so we've done a lot of tuning on that antenna. We just showed you uh, adjusting some of the spokes and uh, the L40 segment, uh, which is the very top uh, pipe, if you will, or aluminum section for 40 meters. That still needs a little bit of work. Uh, but everything else is looking so much better. It's only 40 meters now that is giving me any problems. Uh, time ran out and it was very hot today. So one of the things about this antenna that I've never used uh, uh, or on any of my radios is, is six meters. So my Elmer today, while we were on our repeater work, they said, well, we've got a six meter repeater right here in the repeater shack. And it's up and running, but hardly anybody ever uses it. And I was uh, surveying some of the other members and they don't use it, but my Elmer does. And it took me about an hour, but I finally got six meters working on this new ICOM 7300. So let's check in with AC4DM and let's see what six meters sounds like. 
KY4 BDP for AC4 DM. AC4DM, Don, uh, you're on the air with uh, the uh, YouTube video, and we're just uh, going over how the antenna was set up, and now that it's connected uh, with a really good cable from the antenna all the way over to the ICOM 7300, I wanted to show everybody how clear it was, and uh, you're about, let's say, what, uh, 25 miles away? Yeah, and I've turned the power down. I think I'm only on 25 watts right now, but I probably could go a little bit lower. Uh, I'm just tickled to death that I can use six meters, and as you were telling me earlier today, it's not really used heavily, so this might be my new band as far as communicating with you anytime we need to have uh, a conversation about the comms trailer or something along those lines. Roger. Well, I don't want to keep you too long tonight, and you've been such a great help this evening. Just wanted to get you on some video. You'll be able to see yourself on YouTube in the next uh, couple of weeks. So appreciate your help so much, uh, AC4DM. So there you go, six meters on an antenna that is eight bands, using the very lowest uh, uh, band on that antenna, but a new one that I've never used before. With a little effort, a lot of effort on my part, uh, and a little help from KY4CKP, and a little help from AC4DM, you can make things happen. I hope you enjoyed this antenna series. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, do one more segment just to call uh, to finish out the video, but uh, wanted you to see this working on the radio with this new antenna. See you in just a couple. All right, to finish out the video on the high gain AV-640 antenna, we've put it together, we've put it on a mast, added those radials, we've taken it down several times to tune it with a little bit of help from KY4 CKP, and we've shown you a little bit of tuning on the ICOM 7300, and we reached out to Slovenia, Italy, uh, Kansas City of all places, uh, here in the States, uh, among others. Uh, difficult to make contacts on 20 meters today, but you've now had a chance to see the antenna and uh, uh, at work. I hope you enjoyed this particular antenna series, the put together, the mounting, uh, the mast, and all the rest of it. It was a lot of fun for me to do, a lot of work for me, uh, given my skill set. This is KY4BDP. Brian, please subscribe to our channel comment about this particular video and uh, give us some comments and likes down there. We'd really appreciate it and it helps our local club out really well. I want to give you 73s and enjoy your hobby.